so i know i am doing my intro like in my bare face without my wig on but honestly like big freaking deal oh actually happy new year guys happy new year by the way so today i am getting ready um i decided to just go out to the mall and to just chill with like zara and wani today and just take some nice pictures for instagram my new year's pictures because i haven't taken any new pictures this 2020 okay so yeah so let's just get ready together first and foremost i'm going to be installing my wig i'm going to be trying out a new hairstyle you know that flip hairstyle i feel like i'm a couple of months late trying it out but it's better late than never and i'm just going to you know do my makeup show you guys my outfit then i'm going to head out and the hair i'm going to be using today is from tina shea hair you guys know i have worked with tina shea hair before in the past so i want to thank tina shea hair for sponsoring this video today this is their straight lace front wig it's a 13 by 6 lace front wig and it's 26 inches oh this hair is long this is like mighty long i thought i got the hair in like 20 inches so now i don't know if i want to cut it okay so pretty much this is what the lace looks like it's a little bit like medium brown and this is like the full length of the hair like it's so silky running my fingers through it frontal came pre-plugged so that is amazing this is what inside of the wig looks like but the wig has four different combs i don't know if you guys can see this but the ends are a little bit brown it's just like the natural color of hair I really really like this wig because it makes it very easy for you to cut off the excess lace around your ear like it just fits the circumference of my head perfectly honestly I feel like Tarte is one of those brands that people barely use anymore I don't know if it's just me but this primer is new, I haven't used it before. Back in the day, there was a trick I used to do for my eyeshadow, which involved pasting some tape to the edges of my eye. Guys, I honestly love this Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil. And my eyebrows always look really, really flawless every time I use it. So I'm going to just go back into my wig, give myself a center part and straighten the entire wig. I'm also going to try my best to flatten the top part of the wig because the wig is 180 density. So the top part is really, really full. So I'm just going to try to get that to be as flat as I possibly can. Okay, so I realized I keep going back and forth between my hair and my makeup. It's just a little bit easier for me to do it this way. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Dior Backstage Foundation. This is a face and body foundation, and this is in the shade 5 Neutral. Oh, 
so as i'm finishing up my eye makeup i decide to go back into my wig again this is how i get ready i just go back and forth between my wig and my makeup but this is the exact length of the hair the wig is layered i think the circumference of the wig is about like 20 inches and the middle is about 26 so i'm going to go ahead and just cut the wig right below my shoulders guys this is like not my first time cutting my hair so if it's your first time Please not do it by yourself. I do not want to hear any funny stories. Okay, make sure I get someone to do it for you if you do not feel confident doing this by yourself. But anyways, um, I'm just go ahead and cut the other side just to make sure everything is equal. And then once that's all nice and good, I'm going to go back into my hair and just straighten the hair in smaller sections. And as you guys can see, I'm using my Revlon hair straightener to straighten my hair today. And once I get to the ends of the hair, that's when I flip it like so. And you kind of look like you are a glamorous superstar that came out of an 80s, 90s movie. Like, this hairstyle is so, so chic. So, for finishing touches with my lace, I'm taking my powder. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply this onto my lace front. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the parts as well. Just to give it that more natural, blended, realistic look. And I'm going to go back into my makeup and just finish up my lips. look my hair and my outfit i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video you know what now that i'm looking at myself in the mirror like i just feel this hairstyle is so jackie Aina. and i've seen so many people rock it beauty by baby as well she did something very very similar to this like it's so beautiful it's so fabulous and it's so 80s as well and just gives you like a very very chic look all the information i need to know about this hair is going to be listed right down below so make sure you guys check out the description box right down below thank you once again to nashia here from sponsoring this video until next time, my loves, peace and love.